Hey everybody, back in Nebraska, this would be return trip, fifth day, I'm going out for the night hunt, it was a butt puckering event getting here, Jesus Christ, between the snow, the ice, and the wind, I don't know what was worse, but I'm just glad to still be alive, but uh, got the trailer all set up at camp, in town, uh, checked out the old spot that I have gotten a couple deer off two years in a row. Uh, that also, I really wasn't thinking because it snowed and rained and the ground's not frozen. So I got back on the back road and I buried the truck. Luckily it got out. So lots of deer sign there. I think that might be the go-to spot, but I'm gonna try this spot tonight. Never been here. There's a little cut corn field. field. Kind of right there behind me. So, some deer seem to be coming back and forth across from this low bottom area in that cornfield. Only spot, thousands and thousands of acres that I've seen deer tracks crossing. So, we're going to give it a go. like a decent buck track. Whoa, we're off to a great start here. I stepped on a stick and spooked at least three deer that were way out in this this cattail stuff out here. And then as I was trying to get closer, the hills are so steep to get down here. I slipped in the snow, fell down the hill, stuffed my barrel full of snow. So hopefully I got that cleaned out and it's not on the powder. No bueno. It's been a crappy day. But maybe something will come out yet. Well, that's a wrap for tonight. Didn't see any more deer. It's my own fault. The plan would have worked perfectly if I went to broke that stick and fell down, but what are you gonna do? It smells like walking on grease. So tomorrow's another day. We'll uh, hopefully find some deer tomorrow. At least I've seen deer every day I've been out here, so that's uh, that's always a plus. Morning everybody, day six out here in Nebraska. It's off to a kind of a shaky start. Uh, woke up in the middle of the night to an ice chest that I'm sleeping in. The power supply uh, outlet thing burnt up in the middle of the night. So got my heater back going for the last couple hours. So I had to wait for the hardware store to open the day at eight to go and get a new one. Everything's plugged back in, we got heat. Uh, should be able to get the refrigerator going again and some other stuff, but uh, yeah, that's the old one. She's toast, so making some breakfast real quick, and then we're going to get out there and chase some whitetails. All right, so I'm out at my hot spot. Kind of mad at myself because I left the kayak back in Wisconsin because temperature-wise, the water was supposed to be frozen. As you can see, it's not. But you can see a pretty good trail or some deer are going down to the water there and back out. Nobody's been in here yet since it snowed. Got high hopes. Let's see what happens. So you can see we're a bunch of deer. They're coming up and going across back down the timber. I'm gonna go follow that. What I like is these tracks that have the drag marks behind them. Typically a buck in my experience, but I like it.
just bumped one. Not sure what it was. Got my wind. I only got like 100 yards between me and the water. Got a ways to go before I get to the real good bedding. But I think it went that way. We'll see. Found a deer bed. One there. One over there. Pretty good trails. The wind is getting swirly on me. I don't know how this is going to work, but all the deer normally are in there. So, I'm just going to keep pushing. Finally found the first respectable rub. Not much buck sign so far. Kind of unusual. I'm almost to the back. Let's see what happens. I've jumped two does in here so far. So just got way back in here. There's a bed. <laughs> There's a bed there. Two there. One here. Another one there. Two more up the hill. I did jump two does. The action camera battery died when I went to hit play, so it's been on for three hours. So I only got a little bit more to go that way, and that's it. Then work my way back, kind of along the field edge to get out of here. Just jumped those two does again. Look at this trail. That's 24 hours after snowfall. It's crazy. It's been a lot of tracks in here, a lot of trails. Just not jumping the deer that you think you would with all that, but private's right up in there, so some of the two does went. I'm sure that's where a majority of the deer are hiding. Well, I just had a, another doe jump up. That one had a hurt back leg on the private side, though. So even if I wanted to put it down, I couldn't. It didn't look that bad. I didn't see any holes in it or nothing. It just wasn't putting weight on it. So, well, I'm gonna start working my way out of here. Found another ladder stand. The ground blind right here where I'm at now, where that deer jumped up. So, yeah, obviously somebody else knows how good it is in here, but unless they get permission from private, they're just blowing this out if they're coming in the same way I did. I mean, you gotta come in with a kayak, which I'm regretting leaving that at home now after finding this, but whatever, we'll find something else. Oh, this guy is still alive like to find him. Pretty nice rub. I mean, look at that. It's a damn nice tree to be rubbing on. Probably explains why all the tree stands and ground blinds are in here this year. Somebody knows there's a huge one. Hopefully he's still alive. Come out in front of me. Boom. Done. Well, I just got back to the truck after that loop. I'm not sure how many deer I really saw, but enough. All seemed to be does and fawns, and a couple of fawns that were having a hard time putting weight on one leg, but 
yeah, there's also tons of tree stands and ground blinds and stuff, and I actually ran into the guy on my way out, so, and I'm pretty sure I walked past his buddy in a blind, but he wasn't too sure where the guy really was, so, I don't know what I'm gonna do. There's a lot of deer here. Doesn't seem to be very many buck tracks. There's also people, which typically there isn't. So I don't know how to get around them or it's also not conducive to hunting to walk through that entire woods to get where the deer actually are. They got the wind advantage, it's just stupid, but I'm kicking myself for not having a kayak now. But I'll well, see what we can put together. All right, back out for the night hunt. Got a completely different spot. Same thing as before though, deer tracks everywhere. Cut bean field across the street from me. Uh, the cut corn field down the road. Actually with some deer on the private uh, when I was driving up here. Um, found a dead deer here last year. Jumped a deer here last year. So I'll show you guys. And I just overlooking this bottom. There's a really good marsh behind that woods. Hopefully, them deer are going to funnel this way to me and try and cross the street. Well, that's it for tonight guys just saw that doe and fawn that doe was behind that tree not sure if you can see it in film but he easily could have shot him but unfortunately no bucks so we're gonna get back at her tomorrow morning morning guys day seven out here in nebraska i'm gonna still hunt this giant bottom that i was at uh the first night i got here um, got some more snow last night. Roads are crap again. It's like Groundhog's Day here. Every day is the same. Today should be the last day of snow though, so should get better, warmer, easier to travel. So with that being said, we're going to get after it for the day. Another big buck crop. That one might be possibly from last year, but definitely old, or if it's from this year, but let's keep on going. Just spooked three does. There's all kinds of tracks in here. It's hard to follow because I keep going in circles. Which deer which, but there's one decent track that goes out in the swamp that I'm gonna try and pick up. All those deer were right down there in front of me. So now they're out further out in them trees. So a whole bunch of fresh tracks here. I don't know, probably a couple hours I'd say. Looks like does and fawns going in where I sat the first night. 
I'm gonna kind of make a loop around the edge of the bottom and get back to the truck, see if we can jump them up or not. In a little, in a little different area at the same, same property. There's one bed, two beds, three, four, five, six, seven, eight beds, above day old. All the fresh snow is on top of them. So, not a lot of deer tracks, but let's see if we can find something. I just got back to the truck. I was in this piece for probably a couple hours. Right after I made that last clip, there was a doe fawn way over to my right that got up and took off when I turned around. But uh, overall, not a lot of sign for as big as that is in there. There's quite a few beds, but you know, fresh current tracks, zero buck sign really. I just really haven't gotten on much for buck tracks yet either, so. I don't know where they are, but we're just going to keep going until I find something. I mean, I know two spots that have deer, but I just don't feel like they have much for a buck on them. But we'll see what happens. All set up for the night hunt at the same place I was last night. The only place I can get to with the snow melting. The roads are a disaster. Anything that's not gravel, you can't get down, so... I think this trip's coming to an end real quick. Might hunt tomorrow morning yet, and then I probably gotta give it up or find somewhere that's got pavement leading to it, because once this snow starts melting the rest of the way, you're not gonna get there, but anyway. So, tucked in this little cedar tree. Last night I was on that ridge. Some deer, I think, came through here went up so I'm trying to cut them off I'm hoping everything comes on my left down in here to get a shot be a tough decision but I think I think the dough is now on the table knowing that this trip's pretty much screwed because of the weather and the season ends on Sunday so we'll see what happens Well, that's a wrap for tonight. Seen zero deer. So, I don't know what we're going to do in the morning. But, uh, I'm going to go back to the trailer. Look at some maps. Ground should be frozen enough, I think, to get back where I was. Walking through that woods yesterday. But, I probably got to get out of there by 9, 30, 10 o'clock. I'll be stuck down there. So, we'll see what happens. Well, it's day 8 out here in Nebraska. Woke up this morning, Groundhog's Day again, snowed again, oh my god, it snowed every day since I've been here on the second trip here. So I'm cleaning up the trailer, fastening everything down, and I'm going to head to east and check out some spots over there because with the weather conditions and stuff, I'm not going to be able to even hunt anywhere around here because I can't drive with my truck down all the muddy roads without getting stuck, so... We're gonna head head east, check those out. Last night might have been my last hunt here for all I know right now, but uh, we'll see what we can find.